Okay, I was getting a little lonely with myself and decided to go to my local Walmart for a Wednesday Walmart retail rip. Start off with the update hanger box. Was wanting to rip some new product. Kind of went by to see if there was any Illusion Mega Boxes. I haven't really been checking hard, but that was kind of a failed plastic removal, but found these. There was tons of mosaic basketball, but I don't collect that. I mean, it was a freshly stocked restock, but I don't collect basketball, so I let that live for someone else's smiling face. So I, I've only opened one Topps Gallery. We'll get into that later, but basically out of this update, I'm pretty much hoping for some big hit name in Chrome. And I don't think we have any Chrome in the middle there. We shall see. Well, let's do this. Let's be proper. Let's see if I can do this right. I think I did it right. So we'll start with the base cards. I guess we're looking for some Kelnicks, I suppose. A lot of debuts in this, of course. We've all seen it. Hebron Hayes. Let's see if we get our monies back. With um, Walmart, you have to pay, I think it's like 12 bucks they have it as. What am I doing with my... I think it's 12 bucks for a hanger or something like that. Definitely... Very high compared to Target. I think they still have it around like $9.99 or something like that. So definitely a little bit more expensive. It kind of goes both ways. Walmart's sometimes cheaper with retail product than other locations and vice versa. Expensive, so. All right, this is a stack. We're maybe hoping for something. And the Pache debut. I said, see if we can possibly get our money's back worth of some of these rookie cards. I haven't really seen anything of note, just plenty of debuts. Unless I did pass something, I wasn't really paying attention. It was just kind of skipping on through real quick. Pablo Sandoval, I didn't even know. I guess I've seen it, but he actually got a card. All right, we're going the other direction here. Figured I'd film this, just I was gonna open it on my own, but okay, look at that. We did get a gold of Charlie Morton. Just wanna make sure I didn't. There's also a foil rookie card. We'll do the gold. Okay, we've already seen gold Charlie Morton. Not too bad, coming out of a hanger box. Debut of Nate Pearson, foil, Bryce Harper, it's our 70 years of tops. Bo Jackson is our 86, and definitely not getting any chrome. Yachty, Joey Bartz, Bryce Harper, Jazz Chisholm, and Jackie Bradley Jr. So, not too bad there with foil, chrome, Harper and Jackson. Bo knows. All right, I've heard that people are kind of oftenly getting some autos. Obviously, I am not predicting one to come about in this box. Every time they say, I mean, they don't even mention autos on here. It's just the printer proof parallels, which are definitely nothing to get excited about. But I figured I'd open some more Topps Gallery. Yes, I did, and I think many of you others, or just general collectors of the hobby, did as well enjoy this year's design gallery. It's normally not a prominent scent set, but I can't remember. <laughs> if it was this hard to open, I always have trouble. Okay, we're gonna have to to get the little triangles going up there. So yeah, I definitely enjoy the design of this year's gallery. Very nice looking. They actually used actual pictures and they used the artistry for the inserts instead. 
Pragmatics, definitely get your. So we're hitting it off with a with Merrifield printer proof. We'll try to, I guess we'll just put our base. I was trying to figure out where off <laughs> camera I can put that. These aren't numbered or anything. So there's one, like I said, definitely nothing to get excited about. Manny's definitely happy in that picture, but he is uh, probably not going to be excited about ever getting into the Hall of Fame because I don't think that's going to happen for him. Freddie Freeman looks like we do have a rainbow foil of Adolis Garcia. So I guess we can get a foil way off centered. That is one thing I did notice with these cards in the uh, Ryan Mountcastle printer proof rookie card. So it's not a bad one, probably the best card so far we've seen. And add him to that stack, Javi Baez. Yeah, one thing I did notice, it's not even a mega box, it's what is it, the collector's box? Or I forget what they call it, but a lot of off-centered cards. And I'm trying to kind of get into my grading expertise. So I'm starting to really take note when I look at a card, just really quick glance, like is it gradable? A Joe Adele, next wave. I think I actually got this exact card when I did open that, that previous box. Hank Aaron, not a bad looking card. That one's definitely Boat and like we're just going we'll go I guess he'll go to base or commons I should say but yeah that one is painted you could tell I guess the, the fetch I, I don't know how it how it all works on who they designate actually gets a painting or some type of artist re within the card or or not Randy Johnson is our printer proof. You would think they would make these a little bit more special, but Nick Madrigal and his Cubbies Uni. Gonna be seeing a whole lot more of that. <laughs> Hopefully this upcoming year. I guess we'll put them in this pile. We didn't really start a rookie card pile. And JT Real Muto. One of the better catchers in baseball, I suppose. Definitely getting thin now that Buster's Dylan Carlson rookie card got the auto of this card and this should be coming it's in the mail back from SGC so we'll have a video up on that and how that is doing it looks like we do have a foil in this after this Fernando Tatis of Ryan McMahon and a I guess there is an actual foil stack Tariq Scooball. All right, two more packs and call it a video. Thanks for joining me if you're still sticking around for these couple of lonely packs. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. Thanks for joining me, of course. He Brian Hayes, rookie card, not bad one there. A Matt Olson is our printer proof with a orange. We did get an orange rainbow foil. Exciting. Should we save that one? It's probably going to be... Yeah, let's save it. Mitch Hanniger. We'll get to that one in a second. Try not to blow it, which of course I would do. So we'll see who that lucky card is going to be. That is luck with retail. For the most part, it's, it's all luck. Which is understandable because they definitely got to make it like that. We'll see how this bounce back year does of Ronald Acuna Jr. Masters of the Craft. Don't really know much about the inserts. Alex Kirloff, another decent prospect. To know if this is a notable insert of Jacob deGrom, but I'm assuming not. I don't know what they're the highest valued insert is of this set but most likely depending on the name on this orange rainbow foil will be the highest valued card coming out of this box 
Behind the Matt Olson printer proof is going to be a Trey Turner orange. So, not too excited about that. Being a gi Giants fan, but it is numbered out of 25, so someone will enjoy that on the interwebs once it pretty good center though a little heavy on the bottom not more like decently heavy on the bottom but that's all she wrote thanks for joining me appreciate all the love thank you for watching all the videos and let me know what your favorite card was if i skipped by it out of everything here so long take care have a good one